Today we're going to look at how to evaluate a model that has been trained with Amazon Recognition custom labels. This tutorial assumes that you've already trained a model using Amazon Recognition custom labels. If you haven't trained such a model, then check our other videos out that show you how. Here we can see a model that has recently been trained. From this screen, you can see a numerical value for the model's performance, but if you click into the model, you can see additional details. From this screen, we can see the F1 score, average precision, and overall recall. You can read more about what each of these items means by clicking the Info button in the console. To give you some idea, if you're unfamiliar, here are some ways to think about these metrics. A model with high precision is likely to err on the side of making too few predictions. You can think of this like a security system. If you aren't sure whether something's a match, then assume that it isn't. This means that precise models will have a very small number of false positives. A model with high recall errs on the direction of overpredicting. You would want your COVID-19 test to have high recall, because telling someone that they don't have COVID, if they in fact do, could result in that person unnecessarily spreading the disease. For this reason, models with high recall may have a higher number of false positives, but will have a low number of false negatives. The F1 score is calculated as the harmonic mean of the precision and recall, so it's often a good measure of overall model accuracy. If you scroll down, you can see these metrics for each class. You can also see the assumed threshold for each class. When the model is making predictions, if it receives a confidence value higher than the listed value here for each class, it will consider that a positive prediction. You might be alerted that some of these numbers seem lower than what you might expect. This often happens in cases where your data set is unbalanced or contains a relatively small number of items like we have here. Ultimately, what's most important is that your model's accuracy, F1 score, precision, and recall are high. If you wish to view more detailed information, you can click the View Test Results option. This will allow you to view the predictions that are made by your model for every image in your test set. You can flip through these page by page, or you can use the filters on the left. These filters will allow you to filter by label, like kitchen, as well as prediction type, like false positive. That is how you can evaluate the performance of your Amazon Recognition Custom Labels model. Please check out our other videos where we can show you how to do things like deploy your model and perform inference. Thank you.